chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost. Sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I served. And he went poof, right back. Yes, good morning. But Jack Frost nipping at your nose sounds painful too. Oh, ooh. Well, I, 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 I could use a little, little shave off at the end there. I would. Anyhow, welcome back to Show and Tell <laughs> with BTL and. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, my God. It's today. It's today. Why are we here? We're not really here. Oh, phew. we're filming this in advance, but we're pretending like it's today. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've been AI'd. <laughs> I've been copied. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this. I really am. I'm not getting paid for this. So what happens if they AI Santa? I would assume that was the first one they AI'd. Well, remember, what was it? the Toy Story, not Toy Story, Santa Claus. Okay. Oh. Two, where they created the fake Santa. The, the so fake Santa, yes, down yes, to yes, Earth, yes. And he decided all the children were naughty. It's Christmas. Oh, my gosh, it's Christmas. I just realized it's Christmas. It is Christmas. And with What'd it being, you get me? Well, you had to see when you get back to the office. It's Christmas Day, and we have to go to the office, too? We're pretending oh, again. Okay. It is telling. Oh, <laughs> that sounds great. Let's go. But Let's with, play of eggnog and fireball and, yes, presents. With it being Christmas, <laughs> we are going to ha keep it kind of low-key as much as possible for you. And we're going to have some cool guests on just to talk about what we all do for Christmas. We're going to New York, aren't we? No, we're not going to New York. We're going to, we're going to the land of the Bills. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I, I, see, I see what you did there. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. We're going to the land of the... Now, what do they do? Even though I will say, in 2023, I got to see the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Yes. When we were there, okay. uh, right after Christmas. And mm -hmm. it was as spectacular as I was led to believe it to be over the years. And boy, is it wall-to-wall -wall lines of people everywhere. Yes. And then to see them take it down is even more fascinating. <laughs> it's like, boy, that's, that's going to take a big fireplace to put that in. So, oh, yes, <laughs> and lots of them. So we're going to keep the intro short, and we're going to oh. welcome Lisa in here and talk about some. Lisa, 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 Merry oh. Christmas, Lisa. And then after, after Lisa, oh. everyone gets a treat here. <gasps> Yay! You've heard his name behind the camera. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to, not Santa. Santa was here last week. Oh. I love Santa. I can't help it. But he does have a giant beard like Santa. Oh, Kevin! So we're going to bring Cam Kevin on this side of the camera. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Thomas is Atticus Finch in Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. February 16th through 18th. Learn more at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. And we've added the lovely Lisa, who everyone is familiar with. She's kind of in her Christmas garb today for Christmas. That's right. Merry Christmas. She, she believes, That's right? right? I believe. Believe. Go Bills. Go. <laughs> actually, you're AI, aren't you, right now? That's right, because I'm actually in a car the day after Christmas heading to Buffalo. And this is so if you saw this on Monday, it's real Lisa. Any other day. That's it's right. AI. The rest oh, of the week. AI, it's Lisa. Okay. <laughs> That's right. So heading north. I do you think we can like go ahead and really make AIs of all ourselves and we can send them to work? Oh, oh. I think that sounds like a great idea. I mean, as so, long as the job still gets done, you get your paycheck, right. it's like, let your so, AI do it. Since we're on Fox, yes, I've got a quote of a Fox, ep a, Sim a Simpsons episode, Ooh. where Homer clones himself, and each one of the clones <laughs> gets dumber. Uh, dumber. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think would happen if we tried to do that. Okay, so, okay, since we're going there, I'm just going to put myself out there and say, I think if you... D do my dumbed down versions that I could maybe get three times in. After that, I'd just be mushing the floor. <laughs> huh. Now you, you're three probably- Three Andrews is plenty. Three Andrews is <laughs> more than the world can take. Have either one of you ever looked in the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody needs more than one of us either. <laughs> the world cannot handle that. No, actually, I would even go so far as the world needs a half size of me. <laughs> You know, it'd be Which nice still bigger than you, <laughs> and twice your size. <laughs> Was that? Did, did you just make a short joke at me? No, I'm oh, just okay. saying I'm a big it's a tall dude. joke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyhow, so it's we're, Christmas. Yay! We're believe it or not, we're not here to make fun of each other. We're here to talk about well, sweet Christmas things. Sweet, sweet Christmas. Christ oh, things. we gotta be sweet to each other. Oh, oh gosh, we're we in do. trouble now. Tell me that. 
<laughs> Merry Christmas, Penny. Love you, darling. Like she's going to watch to see that. <laughs> we can make her watch it. Watch First 30 this. minutes of work, you got to watch this TV show. It's <laughs> funny. What was your fav favorite part of the Christmas season this year? This year, the Christmas season? I <clears throat> loved Mean Girls. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes, Mean Girls was great fun because we all went back to high school, but at the same time, there's a little bit of Christmas cheer in the building, so it's a nice combination. Of course, it's the song. The song is in the... I saw you out in the lobby going, rocking around. And I was like, go on, girl, yeah, <laughs> right. rocking around the Christmas tree. Baby. I like the pink Santa hat. Yes. Very I'm personally still having a little PTSD from me, girls. <laughs> I believe that. I mean, were the, all the little kids like running up and grabbing your legs like they always do? There weren't do? lots of little kids. There were oh, lots okay. of teenagers. Teenagers. Oh, teenage And their parents. Yes. <laughs> is that in, in the album called Smells Like Teen Spirit or something? That's a great album. Though. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> That was a great I'm sorry, album. we interrupted the young lady. Please, <laughs> no, that was things. the song. The album was never mind. Oh, okay, never mind. Anyway, that next. Baby floating in the pool trying to grab a twenty dollar bill. Uh, he made news last year talking about that because it was like the twentieth anniversary. Yeah, or I saw that. Oh, okay, so your favorite things and favorite moments. Um, you obviously got to be with all the fam and the boys and Michael and mom and everybody. Yeah. So Christmas. Christmas traditions, um, when we had our first son, Michael Robert, we said we will never leave the house on Christmas Day, ever. If you want to see us, you have to come to us. We will be in our pajamas all day, and we've never left the house on Christmas Day. I love That's it. my wow. favorite thing. That's I, awesome. I, I'm and my parents come over in their pajamas, and they spend the day with us, too. I mean, talk about... It's awesome. Do you keep everything low-key? Is it just like it's, you graze on whatever? It's and, pretty low-key. When the kids were little, it was a little high-strung with the whole... You know, yeah. opening all those at, presents at, at and midnight it, or two a.m. or something. Yeah, no, about three or four a.m. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the Bollingers are usually done by five with gifts and, and back in bed. Yeah, um, <laughs> but it's just it's just a nice low key day, and we hang out, and it's great fun. And we have Irish breakfast. Oh wow! It's an awesome Irish breakfast, by the That's way. Right. That's right. That's right. We bring the leftovers it's, to it's Will. It's like a it's like a a buffet from the biggest buffet buffet restaurant you've ever been to. And you know, in, I, in Ireland, there's only one day a year the prisoners get Irish breakfast, and it's on Christmas. Oh, How about that? So nice. We do it, that's, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are there other things? I mean, pajamas all day, you know, gifts and the, the, the food, whatever. Is there anything special you'd like to watch or see every year, uh, you know, like a movie or? Oh, we always watch Elf. You have oh, okay. to watch Elf. That's my favorite Christmas movie. It's so much fun. So we always watch that. I don't know if it's on Christmas Day, but it's around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to do that. Okay. It's a good one. Yeah. So I'm going to do something a little different and tell a BTL Christmas story. <gasps> Uh-oh. Somebody t turn the camera on. Wait, we got to record this. We got to get Friday's this. Friday's party? No, it's not oh, from okay. Friday's party. <laughs> um, I'm trying to put that as much out of my mind as I can. <laughs> I made it home safely. Oh, good. <laughs> so... We all remember Barbara Kearns. Yes. And, you know, when I started at BTL, Barbara had a very certain personality. You just had to get to know her. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of knew that I made it in with Barbara when she bought me, brought me my first Christmas present, which was not the first year I was there. Oh. She brought me this little guy. Uh-huh. Oh. He is oh, a zoom big in on that. Foot Santa. Oh. And... It really touched me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Bar Barbara and I obviously became great friends after that. Sure. But that year, I put him on my Christmas tree. You know, I always do a live Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. So when you take the Christmas tree down, you do your best to find all the ornaments. But sometimes they just, oh, look at him. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Uh, you do your best to get all the ornaments off that you can, and you don't always get them all. So I took the tree up to the road for a city to pick oh. up. And I don't know, three or four weeks later, I was walking through the yard, and he was just laying in my yard. Oh, he fell off, off on the way to the curb. Fell off the Christmas tree when I drug him out to the street, and he's had a special spot in my Christmas heart ever since. Oh, I've got an ornament, not the Squatch one, but um, in our house, of course, me for Christmas, when I think about the truly special ones, would be from the 70s, you know? That's when I was a little kid and whatever else, and... Um, but our tree every year was very uh, specific on how it had to be done. We had a lot of shiny bright ornaments. Uh, and the last, the w one ritual that always had to be done. First off, I will tell you, when it comes to the tinsel, I just went and threw them at the tree and it just sort of went, you know, on the tree. 
And Isn't I was that what everybody does though. I know that's. I was a kid. I didn't have patience, so I'm just like, you know, tinsel everywhere. So then I'd get in trouble. I'd take it all off, and I had to go one by one, tinsel, 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 and I'm like, I'm done. But the thing I got to do every Christmas is I got to take the little red, uh, shiny bright with uh, silver writing on it. It said Merry Christmas. And it's one from like, you know, late 50s or the 60s type of thing. And I always went at the very top in the middle. And after that, then there was a little prayer for our Christmas season. Awesome. I know. That's, those are all really touching stories. Ooh. That's what we wanted for Christmas, right? Oh, my God. Can, can I tell one other one real quick? No, because we've got to go to a break, and then we're going to welcome our next guest on. But it's Christmas of 78. It's so important. You can tell that a snowstorm? Oh, okay. Huh? The it's snowstorm a story, guys. We will see you guys in just a few minutes, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You heard it was a hit. You heard it was a smash. A wonder. A phenomenon. An international sensation. But you haven't heard that. Stop. January 26th through 27th. Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. We have taken... This guy that you've heard so much about, who's usually <laughs> on that side of the camera, and brought him on this side because I'm, it's Christmas. And I'm terrified. <laughs> Do you know how much crap that I have given this man <laughs> over the years? Thrown stuff at him and like yelled at him and said, Go get my rah -rah! And then he just like, mm hmm. So, what's it been like working on this show on the technical side? Uh, it's a lot of fun. This is this is uh, a lot different than any other show that I put on. So uh, working uh, with you guys is a lot of fun, and and, and it's fun to uh, class put the put the show together. But then we cut, and then who knows what after <laughs> decor. <laughs> it's like uh, there's only so much you can say on television. Then it really gets. Uh, that, that non TV friendly, so so that's what makes it fun. Not in a bad way, but in a, a lot of oh, fun. Yeah. So, so, so what what rating do we get? Do we have like PG thirteen or something? Or it, I mean, we're not X, right? There's uh, there's weeks that are uh, on one level, and then oh. there's uh, Ooh, you know, scared. then it goes PG thirteen R, and maybe a little bit uh, cut delete. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to cut that out completely. So. Yeah, That's so, so it's than, it's been uh, edited for television. That happens more than one occasion. <laughs> so there's there's a there's a show and tell with BTL, the midnight edition. Oh, Ooh, the <laughs> midnight after midnight. We go. You make never it know. Time. You never know. After midnight. So Woo! with it being Christmas, mm. how was mm. Christmas for you guys this year? So I heard Lisa's uh, comment and, and hers, everybody comes and hangs out at the family in their pajamas all day and that kind of stuff. And uh, I think my Christmas is the exact opposite. I think it's uh, National Lampoon's Christmas vacation all the way around and there's so much to do and there's so much that goes wrong. And uh, Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, you're going to mother's house, Family, house, girlfriends, wives, this is kids got to go different places. So Christmas for us is never, ever, ever just a peaceful, calm thing. It's go, 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 go. And but so it's a fantastic, just like Christmas movies, National Lampoon's Vacation, like it's total chaos, <laughs> but then it happens. Everybody's happy. Everybody has a great time. Uh, it's truly magical, you know, so, so. That's how it's it's every year. Christmas. The most important vacation. thing he said there, though, I've got to know: Are you Clark? Or are you Eddie? Uh, I'm Clark. <laughs> well, no. Uh, to be honest, I'm probably a little bit of both. You know, there's there's definitely some Eddie moments. <laughs> I, I mean, I could totally see you with that bathroom. <laughs> right, right, right. I can. I, that's what I'm saying. There's, uh, <laughs> you know, come on, Clark. <laughs> I have to say, it's kind of funny listening to you say that. I was thinking, I literally know every member of your family. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. Did you marry him too? I did. <laughs> oh, did you? We don't want to talk about that though. <laughs> the midnight. That was uh, that was his previous job. We were working partners, and so. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I saved a Christmas tradition that Kevin saw before either one of y'all did. Okay. I mean, everyone everyone obviously knows me for it now. Okay. But Kevin really is the first person to yep, have seen yep, this. Yep. Uh, Kevin and Bob were. Very much so. Very much so. Yep. 
Oh, and when five you, foot Christmas hat. <laughs> yes, and when you were six foot, thank you. Six foot. Six foot. Don't diminish my hat. So uh, uh, when you were <laughs> with Santa at a television station, there's mm. all kind of Christmas merriment that goes around. Uh huh. So we had a lot of fun, you know, red kettle programs and just all kind of different Christmas things we did over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, Christmas parades before. Christmas parades. Before you're in a different role now with the same parade, but. You would drive around in the uh, Fox 54 truck with the Santa Homer, giant inflatable Sam Santa Homer. Uh, you know, you're in charge of Santa Homer now. He's right? at my house. Good. So oh, I'm glad he's, he went somewhere good. He's struggling. He's, does, he's, he still, uh, does he still inflate? The the stitches are coming mm, apart. So he yeah. he uh, he he looks a little hungover on more than one occasion. But it's, <laughs> it's appropriate for it's my Homer. house. So <laughs> it's Homer. Yeah. Uh, so. I know you had a mostly adult daughter, and then you had another little guy. Yeah, yeah. How is the changing Christmas different with that? So it's a uh, it's a lot of fun, no matter what. Last year, um, I did one of those moments where you find a present that it's like you just. When she was growing up, she had these Christmas ornaments that were her favorite. Disney ornaments and stuff, and they I remember that they even. <laughs> broke one after another, you know, year after year. And so I had looked for them um, on eBay and stuff and was never able to find them. Uh, last year, I, I found a pack and I gave it to her. And it's the, it's the best feeling when you can give somebody a present and they just start crying like crazy. <laughs> because it meant a lot for me that I could find it and she really appreciated it. And that's that just means the world. Any other time of the year that statement would sound odd, but yeah, I love Christmas. saying it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then my son Ozzy is he's sports, he's you could get him any any sport, he's gonna love it. He's wrestling, he's hockey, he's and he's a thousand miles per hour. He go, 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 go. So uh, so I got the best of both worlds. I get to, you know, spend money on everybody, then you know, just make happiness for everybody. So. All right. Out of left field, here you go. Favorite Christmas present you ever received as a kid? Oh my. Wow. You gotta answer it too. Oh wow. <laughs> that's that's uh that's hard. There's one that I remember for a kind of for another reason. I got this you know how you remember things, but like I got this uh game that I kind of made a big deal about mm -hmm. and it wasn't like the best present or anything but I had made a big deal about it and then when I received it you almost like uh, it just meant a lot that yeah. I got it you know mm -hmm. and that was that was kind of the uh, the thing and then there was another time that was very memorable is that I was really really sick asthma and stuff mm -hmm. and so it felt like I wasn't asleep at all I stayed up all night but then waking up, and it's like, you're not feeling good, but Santa still came and, you know, brought all these presents. It's just a <laughs> truly magical feeling, you know, that I still remember now, you know, mm -hmm. so. You know, my favorite present that I got, and I told this story last year, was when my grandfather had the 18-wheeler with Santa and reindeer on the back of it in the sleigh. Mm. But I'll answer in another way. Mm. Something that taught me a big lesson. Oh my, philosophical. One, one year, I peeked at my Christmas present, at a Christmas present, which you know is not me at all. Mm -hmm. And this is why. Because I peeked at it, and what it was, it was a little foldable magnetic chess computer. But yay big, had little magnetic pieces, because I love to play chess. I knew what it was when Christmas Day, Christmas Eve came, because we opened our presents on Christmas Eve. I was just so disappointed that I already knew what it was. And I've never peeked at a Christmas present since. Good lesson to learn. And you? 1975, uh, July of that year, uh, we went to uh, Disney World. Um, and everything in my life at that point in time was Disney related. And that Christmas I got home and the only thing I wanted was the Haunted Mansion game. And it was under the tree. And it was just, it was sort of one of those gifts that culminated a great experience right, so right and it's funny I, I didn't have the game we had tons of games and it eventually got lost or thrown away or whatever but as an adult I went back and I paid three hundred and fifty dollars for one of those board games 
I kid you not. Because I wanted that piece of my childhood, that nostalgia. And that's what I did for yeah. my daughter. And the and that there's no greater feeling yes. to to uh, you know let somebody open it and it just you know truly touches them and stuff. So it's it's amazing how that kind of stuff works out. It awesome. Does. And on that pitter patter moment, since you're not back there to tell me <laughs> yeah, we need to go, to I'm work, going right? back there. <laughs> so we're going to cut, cut, cut right. edit, print. We'll see you guys in a few minutes and hear about 1978 Christmas. Oh, yes. <laughs> See you soon. Merry Christmas. Five stars all rise for To Kill a Mockingbird. Unmissable and unforgettable. A mockingbird for our moment. Beautiful, elegiac, satisfying, even exhilarating. A New York Times critic's pick. Mockingbird is now the most successful American play in Broadway history. All rise for Aaron Sorkin's great play. Richard Thomas is Atticus Finch in Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. February 16th through 18th. Learn more at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Stomp, January 26th through 27th. Von Braun Center, Huntsville. Get tickets at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTR. I forgot where I was for a minute. Uh, I'm still just overjoyed with the Christmas spirit today. I think his heart has grown ten sizes larger today. That's right. That usually creates a heart attack. Let's not go that far. Well, you don't have to be so dramatic about it. <laughs> drama, drama, drama. The week award goes to. <laughs> oh. I just feel warm and fuzzy, and I want like I, I need a big mug of um, eggnog and fire fireball. <laughs> hmm. Common Kevin, do you have any? December. <laughs> so, how did it feel having Kevin on the side oh, of the camera? I, awesome, great. He can send in any time. I, actually, I wish he'd throw stuff back at me. <laughs> <laughs> how was it? We're going to get you a bag of the props back there. You can just throw them. The yeah, there you for go. you, what was it like? Because you see him back there all the time. What was it like for him to be? I like? know. It's nice to hear from Kevin tell, he tell him some stories. He's got something to say. He does. Yeah. Well, he talks in between the segments. So. Yeah. But it's nice. To and, you know, it, it's funny. Kevin and, and Bob are literally two of my longest running friends in Huntsville. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when he's telling the story about all of his family visits, I'm like, like I know that person. I know I that know. person. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just go to my room and shut the door? That's probably what he's thinking. Like, oh. uh, Christmas past. Christmas past. Yes. Can we go back to a few years? Yes. 1978. 1978 Christmas. Okay. This one. Was, we were two. I was going to say, we were two. <laughs> well, at least you existed. We did. We yes. Were, we were five. Um, and I was only, I was, I'd been 10. So Christmas of 78, of course, everybody on TV land knows that, that winter that year was historic because the drifts and things were, I mean, just mountains and mountains and mountains of snow. Well, I was born and raised in Peoria, Illinois, and we always went to my grandpa's farm, which was about 15, 20 miles away in Elmwood, Illinois, and that was the time of the big uh, snow, snowstorm of 78. So we decided our, I'm sorry, can you believe this? Our dumbasses actually got in the car and tried to go to grandpa's house. Oh, and we made it. <laughs> when we got to the end of his tree line drive, we got pulled off the road, at least. I had his farm, but to get to his front door, I kid you not, we had to dig a tunnel through the mountain of snow just to be able to get to the front door. And of course, once we were there, we were just stuck. You had to stay. So we were just, yeah. How long were you in this farmhouse out in the country in the middle of a snowstorm? Three which is the city of many horror movies. To That's right. That. They all and start that way. If you'd have been way. in his basement, you'd have thought a horror movie had happened there. Because that, you know, that was the. That farm for me growing up, I mean, we went out there, that, we did farm stuff. We, you know, butchered chickens and pigs and cows and, and worked the fields or whatever, you know. You know, and I can't attest to 1978, but I can attest to farm life in the 80s. Mm. That's a world of difference from 2023. Very much so. <laughs> Tw but, almost 2024. But, you know, that, that, that experience, though, I mean, there was no power. He had a... Uh, fire that he built and was able to keep warm and everything, but with him and my grandpa, because I mean, there were what, 11 kids and tons and tons and tons of grandkids. You never really got to really, a lot of times, have one-on-one -on -one time, like with a grandpa or something, and that was just really cool for me, with him to, you know, really share some quality time with him. You, you know, it, it's interesting. You had siblings growing up too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. My brother, he's, she's, he's older than me. Yeah. Right. But being an only child, it's like I was only... 
ever with my grandparents. But see, that's the, you and I have the same, same thing about being reared by our grandparents so much, but you two have the same thing in common because you are an only child, but she's kind of like an only child because there's so much age difference between you and your brother. Right, right, yeah, he's yeah. nine years older so, I mean, than me. And I, I, see, I see the similarities between the two of you in, in that regard. That's why she's become my babysitter at work. Now. That's right. <laughs> We're each other's siblings. <laughs> oh, that explains so much. It does. <laughs> so much. Oh, Lord. Uh, so, I guess we're going to go our separate ways for Christmas. You're going to get on the road to Buffalo. That's tomorrow. right. Tomorrow Shuffle you'll be watching. off to Buffalo. Buffalo. There you go. <laughs> tomorrow you'll be watching AI Lisa. That's or right. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday you'll be watching AI Lisa. Uh, um, of all of us. Look yes. for me in the stands at the Bills game. There yes. Go. New Year's Eve. So you Go Bills! Go Bills. You're going to have your cape on, right? That's right. Yes. I'm going to wear my cape. You're going to have your cape <laughs> on. I have the cape. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't checked the weather yet to see what, how cold it's going to be. I think I'm that. hoping for a 35. I can handle 35 degrees. You are insane. I'm hoping for 65. It'll never be 65 in Buffalo on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> that Siblings. is wishful Siblings. thinking. <laughs> I rest my case, yes. You know, when I was in Metro Chicago and I walked outside one day and the snow was up over my waist, and I'm a pretty tall dude, mm. I was like, that's enough of That's this. That's a lot of snow. <laughs> it is. I am not, I'm not looking forward to the heavy jacket thing. Mm -hmm. That's nice about living here in the South. So you don't have heat, to do that. So I know it's an open-air stadium, but do the heat inside of it? No. Well, maybe behind, yeah. That's what the, I was wondering. Probably not much, though, because it's all open in the back, too. So. Huh. Just be safe and be careful, please. Yes. Of course. <laughs> you know, I've been to games in Chicago and in Green Bay. Mm. Can't imagine it being colder than Green Bay, but... Coming that I, lake effect snow coming right off of it that. Could, yeah. It could. It could happen. Oh, I was supposed to be at that one with the seven feet mm -hmm. of snow. Yes. Not yep. get there. I remember mm -hmm. the pictures of that stadium. That was so it was cool. two years ago now, right? Yeah. yeah. No, a year ago. It's last year. Oh, yep. So... Well, to everybody out there? This is the last time we'll see you in 2023. Oh. So it's, I been, guess, it's been an awesome year. I, I think that we've... I mean, let's just let's be real about it for a second. Talk about a roller coaster, wild ride, crazy year. We went from way back in the beginning of the year, shows that we had, I mean, good Lord, our biggest show in our history. Aladdin. Aladdin way back when, and then Ain't Too Proud, shows through all throughout. I mean, literally with BTL, it seems like right now, it's like we, we're never not down or not right. up or it's, going, you know, and just show after show after show. I mean, I'm so thankful to the community that stepped up and provided us for us for all these 64 years and to the amazing staff that, uh, stands by me and all of us to make all this magic happen, and um, we do it all for you and our community. So we thank you all very, very, very much, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year's, guys.